In a country that likes to keep things simple, it fits right in. Locals call it a nori, but it's known to tourists as the bamboo train, and it is as simple as it gets. One of Batambang's most famous tourist attractions began as a grassroots solution to the Khmer Rouge leaving Cambodia's rail system in shambles. And the beauty is in its simplicity. A single removable bamboo platform and a driver manning the controls that give him two choices, fast or slow, and you're off. Barreling through the countryside at breakneck speed. And I say breakneck because if you crash, you're breaking your neck. There's only one track, traffic moves in both directions, and the rules of the road are simple. The car with the fewest passengers makes way. That was usually me. We have to stop every five minutes or so for some sort of track obstruction. And uh, it's a one-way track, so when people are coming back the other way, we need to get off or get run over by bamboo train. The stoppages are, of course, one of the best things about the bamboo train. They provide the experiences that give you a sense of timelessness. They're not moving. There's an obligatory stop at the turnaround where they hawk souvenirs and t-shirts. Then it was back to the best part. It was suggested to me to take the bamboo train at sunset because the sun sets off the colors of the rice paddies. And I have to say it was a great suggestion because it does. Dusk brought the unbelievable silence to the countryside. Every once in a while you find yourself doing something that is the ultimate tourist experience. Bamboo train is one of those moments. Bamboo train is officially heading backwards. Oh.